Kitchen Kids. I am so excited that you are able to join us online for Kids Connect. Petersham Kids is an awesome children's program filled with lots of fun and amazing God moments. I can't wait for you to see what we have planned for you today. So let's jump right into it. Hey guys, I'm Jordan, one of the leaders here at Petersham Kids. Today, we're gonna to look at giants in the faith. We're gonna take a look at one of the giants in the faith in the Bible. But right now, we're gonna see a really cool experiment from one of our leaders. So let's go. Hi guys, today we have another experiment that you can do right at home. So what you need is a couple of things that you should be able to find, otherwise you can go to the shops and collect these next few things. So we need an empty water bottle. We need a balloon. Now I stretch this out by blowing it out a few times. Some yeast a bit of warm water and a bit of sugar. So what we're gonna do is, let's see how good I am at pouring things into a small bottle top. We'll see if I can get everything in without spilling. Okay, so we're putting this yeast in here. I'm gonna put a fair bit. They say to put a whole, a whole packet in is good. So there's my packet of yeast. Then what I'm gonna do is add about a teaspoon of sugar. So let's see what that is. Yep, so we've got about a teaspoon of sugar in there and now our warm water. So again, a bit of a challenge. You know, if you have something like a funnel or something that might make it a bit easier at home, I probably would suggest doing that, but that should be fine. So we want around about an inch. Um, which is a bit more of a centimetre because that's what we use in Australia. So let's give that a bit of a um, twirl. We really want to get all that yeast to go inside that water. And when that's pretty much all in, it should be a really thick mixture with nothing too much floating around. We're going to put our balloon that, remember, we stretched a bit, and we're going to put that right over the bottle cap, just like that. Now with this experiment, we need a tiny bit of patience. So let's wait about 20 minutes and see what happens. Wow, do you see how much that balloon has gone up? Now that's just because of all the invisible things happening inside. We do see some bubbles and that's part of it, but there's a whole bunch of gases that built up and grew and that's what grew this balloon. Well, in the same way, we may not be able to see or touch God, just like we can't see the gases in here. But that doesn't mean we can't see acts of God everywhere. We can see the great things that God has done, just like how we can see this balloon fill up by something that is unseen. In 2 Corinthians 4 verse 18, it says, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So what that tells us is that even though we may not be able to see God, we should still focus on Him. And we have things that show us that God is there all around us by seeing the miracles that happen every day. So just like we can see with this balloon, that something invisible can do pretty crazy amazing things, God can too. So that was a really cool experiment that shows that we can have faith in God even though we don't always see Him. Whoa, how crazy was that? The balloon filled up! Well right now we're going to hear a story about one of the giants in the faith. Genesis 6-9 to Noah and the Ark Noah was a very good man who had a strong relationship with God. Now the earth was filled with sin. Lots of people were fighting and didn't have good manners. God saw the earth and said to Noah, people have made the earth full of violence, so I will need to destroy the people from the earth. Make yourself an ark out of wood, make room in the ark and cover it inside and out with tar. God gave Noah very clear instructions about how big the ark had to be. God told Noah, I will bring a flood of water upon the earth to destroy all living things, but I will make an agreement with you and your family who can come on the ark. 
On the ark, you must also bring two of every sort of living things with you, male and female. There will be two of every kind of bird, animal and crawling thing, and they must be kept alive. Also, take with you every sort of food that is eaten and store it up. This will allow all of these animals to continue living after the flood. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And every living thing that I have made, Noah did everything God commanded him to do. When everyone was on the ark, God closed the door behind them. The flood continued for 40 days on the earth. The water was so high that it lifted the ark off the ground. The water continued to rise and the ark floated on the water above the earth. All living things that were in the ark didn't die. But God remembered Noah and everyone on the ark. And after 150 days, the water had gone down so that the ark was able to touch the land again. When Noah could see the tops of the mountains, he opened the windows and sent out a raven and told it to fly until all the water had dried on the earth. Then he sent out a dove to check if the water had dried up from above the ground. But the dove could not find a place of land. So the dove went back to the ark. Noah waited seven days and then sent the dove out again. The dove came back with a freshly plucked olive leaf in its mouth. So Noah knew that the ground was almost dry. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. But this time, the dove didn't come back. Hooray! This meant now the water from the flood was all dried up. Then God said to Noah, go out from the ark and bring with you the family and every living thing that was on the ark with you. God was very pleased with his obedience and God made a promise to Noah that he would never flood the earth again. And he put the rainbow in the clouds as a way for everyone to remember this promise on earth. Wow, Petersham kids, what an amazing lesson that we've learnt so far. Now, there are two main points that I want you to remember for this week. The first is that you can be a giant in the faith too, just like Noah, where things, he couldn't see what was happening, but he trusted in God to build that ark. So same with you. Even though it's the unseen that you might be in, you can trust God in that situation. And number two, to be obedient to God. So when you hear from God, go for it. Be obedient to what he's saying and that will help you be a giant in the faith. Thank you, Petersham Kids, for being part of Kids Connect today. Now, parents, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kids Connect. And if you want to see what the rest of the church is up to, please make sure you subscribe to Petersham Online. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Have a great day.